no mention of statins increasing dementia risk, which they do. Can you link the studies you're referring to? Would love to see them. Still waiting on those links. I guess I can search for them myself. You can't rely on anyone these days. You gotta do everything yourself. All right, so currently it's no secret that dementia and heart disease are related and clogged arteries can lead to a diagnosis of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Now, this isn't to say that high LDL directly increases the risk of dementia because there are not any studies that I'm aware of that point in that direction explicitly. However, countless studies show that high LDL and more specifically high ApoB can lead to plaque buildup in the arteries, which can lead to a heart attack or stroke. The way that happens is easily explained from this graph. If we focus our attention to the right side, no, the right side, okay, we can see that plaque buildup leads to impaired antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which leads to brain hypoperfusion. I'll save you the Google search and just tell you that brain hypoperfusion is reduced blood flow to the brain. That can then lead to reduced brain cognition and vascular dementia. So, Logically, working backwards, if we don't want poor cognition and vascular dementia, then we don't want a reduced amount of blood flow into the brain, so then we don't want plaque buildup in the arteries. So how do we stop plaque buildup? Luckily, there are plenty of studies that show that. This one here summarizes its results by stating, Consistent evidence from numerous and multiple different studies of clinical and genetic studies unequivocally establishes that LDL causes ASCVD. ASCVD is atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So high LDL and high inflammation can lead to that plaque buildup. So how do we lower LDL? You can obviously do this with nutrition or cholesterol lowering medications like statins. Relax. I know most people on the internet seem to be way against statins and since I'm a pharmacist, a lot of people automatically think that I'm just blindly for medications. I assure you, I am not. We are going to go over large studies and look at the data as unbiased as possible. There are plenty of massive, and I'm talking massive, studies that show high cholesterol leads to plaque buildup, which leads to heart attacks and stroke, but I won't be really going over that in this video. Even if you don't believe that high LDL is the cause of plaque buildup, that's fine. We can at least agree that plaque buildup itself and inflammation, no matter where it came from, can lead to cardiovascular disease, hopefully. Statins can stabilize plaque and reduce inflammation, so they would still be a decent option for the treatment of those reasons. But again, in this video, we're just gonna focus on if statins increase the risk of dementia, not their effectiveness, that's for another video. According to mechanism, statins would not lead to dementia, but according to this viewer, they do. So let's do some research on the topic and see what we can find. So. During my search, I found this video by Dr. Ken Berry, a physician who seems to be very against statins on his channel. No big deal if we can find evidence for it being dangerous, then I'll be against statins too. This video by Dr. Berry is a few years old, but he cites a paper that shows certain cholesterol medications double the risk of dementia. So I watched the full video and also read the study. Few things to start things off. I mentioned it earlier, but again, here is current evidence that shows that cardiovascular diseases are an important risk factor for the development of dementia. Let's take a look at this massive, and I mean massive, meta-analysis. Midlife hypercholesteremia was associated with increased incidence of mild cognitive impairment and all-cause dementia. Each one millimole per liter increase in low-density lipoprotein was associated with an 8% increase in incidence of all-cause dementia. One millimole per liter is equivalent to about 38.7 milligrams per deciliter for us Americans. We, of course, have to be the root cause of confusion by using a different system than everyone else. So the increase overall to get dementia is about 14% if you have elevated total cholesterol versus normal cholesterol. So there is an established risk between having high cholesterol levels and increased incidence of dementia. The best way we know to reduce cholesterol levels via medication is by statins. Relax. And many massive, and I mean massive, studies show that statins reduce cardiovascular disease, morbidity, and mortality. So theoretically, statins should reduce the risk of dementia since they reduce the risk of dying from a cardiovascular event. But it is possible that through some other mechanism that it actually increases risk of dementia. So we'll take a look at some studies. This first study we'll look at is the one from Dr. Ken Berry's video couple things about the study. They separated people by cholesterol levels, cognition level, and the type of statin that those patients were on. One little problem here, and by little I mean massive. They didn't separate the patients based on cardiovascular disease diagnosis or why they are not taking a statin. 
One of the main reasons people are prescribed a statin is for secondary prevention. So for people that have already had a cardiovascular event, like a heart attack or stroke. And we know that reduced blood flow to the brain because of the clogged arteries results in a higher risk of dementia. So by just comparing people who are on a statin versus those who are not on a statin, you are potentially separating people by those who are generally healthy versus those who are not, like people who have had a heart attack or stroke. So if someone is healthy and not on a statin, they're potentially being compared to someone who had a heart attack and is on a statin. The person with the heart attack already has a higher risk of getting dementia because of the hypoperfusion. Remember that word? Not really a fair fight, but that's okay. We'll look at the results anyway. We see that those that were on a torvastatin or lovastatin, which are lipophilic statins, had a 24% increase in dementia occurrence versus those who were not on a statin. Also, people that were on a hydrophilic statin, like rosuvastatin and pravastatin, did not experience any difference in dementia occurrence versus those not on a statin. So hydrophilic statin and no statin had no increased risk, while lipophilic statins had a 24% increased risk in dementia risk only. Lipophilic statins are fat soluble and therefore have an increased risk of causing side effects like muscle pain, while hydrophilic statins are water soluble and based don't go anywhere they're not supposed to. They have a reduced risk of side effects. Now, to my knowledge and research, this is the only study that shows that a statin can increase the risk of dementia. Something else I would like to throw in is that this study is very small compared to all other statin, dementia, and CBD meta-analysis we have on the topic. This study only had about 350 people total, whereas all the other studies have millions of participants. So the results of those studies are a little more reliable unless this small study gets replicated and shows the same result multiple times. But for now, let's go over some of the other studies. This study here is a meta-analysis pooling together 36 studies. It found that both lipophilic and hydrophilic statins reduce the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, while high-potency statins showed a 20% reduction of dementia risk compared to a 16% risk reduction associated with low-potency statins. So both lipophilic and hydrophilic statins reduce the risk of dementia, while higher doses reduce the risk greater than lower doses. And that makes sense because of the improved blood flow and reduced inflammation from taking higher potency statins. We also have this study, which combined 30 studies, totaling 9 million participants. Compare that with the 350 people in the study we went over first. This study found that patients taking statins had a lower all-cause dementia risk than those without a statin. This study suggests that the use of statins is significantly associated with a decreased risk of dementia. Let's dive a little deeper in the results from each study. From this figure, we see that eight studies were included and five of the eight showed statins reducing the risk of dementia, while three of them showed no difference between taking statins and not taking statins. None of these individual studies showed that statins increased the risk of dementia. Something I want to point out towards the bottom of the study, prospective clinical trials do not show enough evidence to support the use of statins to delay progression of Alzheimer's disease. So what this means is that statins are not used for prevention of Alzheimer's disease or slowing it down for patients that do not currently need a statin for cardiovascular benefit. We don't have any evidence showing that otherwise healthy individuals with dementia or at risk of dementia would benefit from a statin. It's just that currently we know that statins do not increase the risk of dementia. They actually lower it for those who are at risk with cardiovascular disease. Now, I'm not here to convince you to take a statin or not take a statin. That's a discussion for you and your doctor, but the decision is ultimately up to you. You're the one that's gonna put it in your mouth. This video was just to try and figure out if statins increase or decrease the risk of dementia, and I think we accomplished that with the massive, and I mean massive, studies that we went over. Over. Keep in mind that these are meta-analysis studies, so they're combining the results of individual studies and finding the average result. So some studies did show that statins lower risk, some studies showed no difference, and like the first one we went over, some maybe showed certain statins increase risk. But overall, the direction the evidence points to is that statins do not increase dementia risk and they are protective. If you are taking a statin and want to be extra safe, you can avoid the lipophilic statins like atorvastatin and lovastatin and stick with rosuvastatin or pravastatin. Now, if you don't want to take a statin and maybe want to take a natural supplement instead, then check out my video on red yeast rice and if it helps actually lower cholesterol. That's it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.